In this week's Digging for Old, we take you back to the Oregon Historical Society's secret warehouse, where they store all of the incredible items in their collection that are not currently on display. And I don't know why I did those air quotes, because it really is a secret place. I've been there, but if I told you where it was, I'd have to kill you. There's a unique piece of history that is soon going to be part of the permanent exhibit at the Historical Society, although it's not too flashy, so to speak. It carries the story of a man that many will remember. Opening in June at the Historical Society is a new permanent exhibit on the history of Portland called Rivers, Roses, and Rip City. We've got some wonderful historic items that are going in the exhibit. One of my favorites being this. This uh, overcoat, raincoat, trench coat, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this coat is probably one of the most iconic coats in uh, Portland history. This is the coat that Bud Clark was wearing, the former mayor Bud Clark, when he made the very famous or infamous Expose Yourself to Art uh, photo. You may remember it's uh, shot from the behind and he's in front of a statue and uh, your imagination can take you where it goes. It became a very famous photo. This was done before he was mayor. Uh, and he used that photo in his, uh, his notoriety as an innkeeper. Uh, up at Goose Hollow uh, to shock Frank Ivancy when he was elected mayor and served for two terms as a, as a very successful mayor. And this, this coat was given to us by Thomas Lauderdale, the impresario of Pink Martini who had purchased the coat. And when Thomas uh, gave this to us, or loaned this to us actually, he said, you need to have this, but I don't want it locked up in a vault. It needs to be on display. So we said, we've got the perfect place for it, this new exhibit on Portland. So as long as we keep it on display, then uh, Thomas will loan it to us. Little backstory behind it. It was owned originally by Jay Bowerman. Now Bowerman is probably more well known as Bill Bowerman's father, the famous track coach at U of O and kind of the inspiration to Phil Knight for Nike. And Jay Bowerman was briefly governor of Oregon uh, in, the, in the early 1900s. He was, he was president of the Senate. The governor became incapacitated by illness under the Constitution at that time, the President of the Senate took over. He was Governor of Oregon, ran to, for the office, but was defeated by Oswald West, became one of Oregon's most iconic governors. And one of the reasons he was defeated was he was having an affair with his secretary, which became known, well known. And back in the early 20th century, that couldn't, couldn't be done. But uh, this coat is just so iconic, and we, when doing an exhibit in uh, Portland, we figured it, it, this had to go into the exhibit. <laughs> the stories that code could tell. And in our search for that Expose Yourself to Art photo, we found a short segment in the KGW vault where Clark talks about how it all came together. Here's KGW's Joe Donlin from back in 2001. But it was this picture from 1978 that added to his offbeat persona. He donned an overcoat and flashed a brand new statue downtown. He and a friend ran the picture in their neighborhood newspaper. We said, let's put it in and have a contest for a caption. And we had 350 entries come back. You know, want to buy a watch? All kinds of entries. And, uh, but Expose Yourself to Art was the one that won. There were three people that came up with that one. And when it was printed as a poster, it became a cult phenomenon, a collector's item, selling who knows how many hundreds of thousands of copies. <laughs> how about that? I'm sure a few of you have Bud Clark stories to share with us. We'd love to hear about it. You can email us at thestory at kgw.com or call and leave a voicemail, 503-226-5090.